nowadays I am a Tantra assistant and uh, coach. Well, uh, I saw um, an advertisement for uh, Tantra workshops. I followed the spiritual newsletter by that time and uh, I, uh, it really triggered my attention. And I wanted to find out more about uh, connection, about hugs, um, exploring different polarities, feeling the energies more, understanding my body. And um, the workshop was amazing. I assisted, uh, I was at the Tantra massage workshops. It was my first workshop, so it was uh, a bit overwhelming for me and uh, amazing. Uh, at the, some point, I worked with a woman and uh, she re reminded me of, about my grandmother and uh, I saw in her that uh, if my, ma my grandmother would uh, still be alive, uh, she would uh, be as joyful and uh, happy and uh, also there was this beautiful light, um, sunset light and it was a beautiful message that there's a lot of love in the universe, there's a lot of uh, joy and if my grandmother would have uh, been able to communicate to me something, I think this would have been the message uh, the message of love, the message of uh, joy, of enjoying life, connecting and yes, being grateful to be alive. And uh, afterwards, um, we were to the rainbow gathering, European ga ra rainbow gathering. and. Uh, we had beautiful workshops, two workshops a day, and I started assisting, working with the Tantra teacher. My life has changed very much. I started feeling more energy, I started understanding my body, connecting more, connecting more with other people, and a lot of synchronicities started to happen, connecting with uh, people that have similar beliefs and uh, empowering each other, inspiring, connecting more with nature, uh, feeling more balance, actually enjoying life much more, seeing life from different pers perspectives, enjoying uh, everyday life differently from, from more perspectives, just enjoying the moment, living more in the present with what is, uh, enjoying also the challenges, allowing myself to go in deeper into my experiences, to, to feel whatever that is and uh, gain this meaning that is beyond, that patience rewards us and uh, allowing our feelings to, to surface. And I uh, understood that actually Tantra is part of shamanism, in a sense, and that uh, there are beautiful messages in nature. Our body offers us guidance in every moment, and they're so beautifully to, to work with the body. Also, it had connected more to my sexuality, and I understood that it is uh, beneficial to explore energies differently. Sometimes just to, just to feel the body, just to perceive, to breathe more into what is, do some Tantra Kriya breathing. And um, I understood that it's so beautiful to, to start feeling the energy, to contain the energy, go beyond what what I knew about sexuality also for me as a woman but also for my partner to contain the energy for as long as it, it is comfortable and 
maybe postpone orgasm, ejaculation, in order to, to bring blissful energy through the ch chakras, from, uh, from the lower chakras to the se second chakra, to the um, uh, solar plexus, the stomach, and then the energy rises to the heart, the heart expands, and also for women is so beautiful, but men can experience this too. And then you can go on to express yourself, to liberate the throat, to, to liberate the, the vision, the, our, our perceptions, our, our body, feel the touch, um, get beautiful ideas, allow ourselves to, to go beyond our wounds, to express our feelings, when there is sadness, to acknowledge that there is sadness, where there is fury, to acknowledge that I feel fury. And, uh, and then I start to realize where my traumas started, where, where my wounds started, or when I started to, to have misconceptions. I had some illusions towards my body some judgment, some critical behavior and thoughts. And then I started just perceiving whatever that is. And it felt more free for me. And uh, there's much joy in this freedom. I saw that uh, uh, love starts starts within myself and that I love because of myself I love because because love is a choice I I start to to love when I when I feel good I start to, to love the flow of life within myself I but I also can can accept that when I'm in a lower state, when in lower frequencies, when, when I feel blocked, I just acknowledge what I feel. And then I go past that. And some beautiful understanding show. And it's also with a partner. It, this creates a authenticity within myself, acknowledging what I feel and meeting my needs. Uh, the need to to rest, to to eat more raw fruits and vegetables as much as possible, to drink water, to care for my body. So when I have this balance, when I feel my love tank, then I can also show this authenticity uh, and this love that I have, because my love tank is full I can meet with the other person I can I can share my energy with the other person because I am a mature human being and I take care of for myself so so I can also meet with the other person so in this space that consciousness awareness Tantra has helped me to build. In this space, we are more free to express love to one another. Uh, in daily life, acknowledging what beautiful messages there are in the universe for me. Where is my joy? What kind of people I like to meet with? And also, acknowledging that every human being has better days and more challenging days and creating the space also for myself and for other people to express themselves to express themselves when they feel fury or when they feel to criticize and even this criticizing can show me how to love them more if they criticize me about uh, that I don't spend too much uh, enough time with them, then I know that time is important for them, spending quality time. Or when um, 
Gary Chapman has a beautiful book, The Love uh, Languages. Um, so it's I experienced this even more when they criticize maybe that I haven't done uh, that or that, and I know that act of service is important for them. When they ask for more hugs, then I know that touch is and connection is important for that person. And Tantra has really supported me to, to gain this awareness of the energy and uh, the freedom to, to work better with my energy. And being more aware of myself can allow me to, to stand with my awareness for other people as well. Of course, uh, it's uh, a longer process. I've been in Tantra for five, six months, very intensive as a Tantra assistant. And I still work through things, I still experience a lot of changes. So it's something that uh, needs a bit of discipline, needs a bit of work. Putting some energy into exercising, participating to workshops, connecting with people, uh, reading about self-development, reading about spirituality, about what Tantra can offer. When uh, we allow ourselves to acknowledge what we feel, to to work with with our past, to understand it, to, to let go of anxieties for the future and live more in the moment with what there is because life is about the here and now. Life in this moment, when we breathe, we create the experience and the experience becomes the past. And because of what I do now, I, I create the future. So when I'm more in the flow of authenticity, when I go more for what brings me joy, for what brings me more awareness or more groundedness, then I offer the space for the other person to be themselves, to, for the other person to be him or herself. So we create the space when we can really meet each other. We can, we can be here and now with each other. We create this space where we are ourselves, with our uh, advantages, with our qualities, with our challenges. And we can learn so much from each other and we can start seeing each other's souls. We can really go deeper and deeper into this, and there's there's this need to to express how we feel. There's this need to to be ourselves, to have the space to to let go of frustrations, to let go of guilt, to let go of. Uh, but there's need to, to let go of and enjoy, enjoy connection. The healing is uh, all about um, feeling what it is. There are certain moments, certain situations or uh, aspects that may trigger us, that may trigger certain reactions that may trigger our frustrations, our sadness, even our anger, or just laughter, or crying. And uh, at the Tantra workshops, we encourage uh, students to stay with what it is, perceive what it is, and let it go. Just uh, live 
leave that experience so we can free ourselves from, from that experience. We allow that experience to, to go deeper into our memories, into our wounds. And because we go through that and we do not oppose resistance, we let the suffering to be the suffering and then it washes away. Sometimes there's this darkness that surfaces from our repressed feelings, for our repressed needs, maybe maybe do some some challenging child situations in childhood, maybe just minor situations that triggered some embarrassment or guilt or shame or fear but I found myself telling when this darkness surfaces don't be afraid just let it pass it's like a cleansing experience to go through it to, to let it go sometimes it's very important to, to be aware what environment we place ourselves. There are certain, certain contexts, there are certain frequencies in the world. And the mind is very powerful and can access different frequencies. When we work more with these polarities, yin and yang, actually we gain much more freedom within ourselves. There's a lot of uh, freedom and flexibility to work with, just acknowledging whatever that is. Being in the moment and with a partner, for me, it, uh, it's, it's wonderful. But sometimes it has been challenging I felt sometimes anxiety, um, it, it was challenging to stay present in the here and the now. Sometimes my mind was looking for distractions, uh, concerning for uh, different situations, worrying or so. Um, but uh, my partner tells me that it's important to breathe and whenever my thoughts go away, I just breathe and I bring myself back to the present moment. So when I exercise this, we create a beautiful flow. And uh, we work with the yin and yang moments, moments when I are mo which are more intense, and moments where we just perceive more and there are more peaceful moments, sometimes even boring. But then we also get uh, more out of it. We, it's like we perceive more within ourselves. And I see that beyond the boredom, there's something else to discover about myself and about the, the communication, about the interaction, about my partner that is beyond what I knew. And it's so beautiful, I hope that people all around the world get to experience at least at least what I experienced about myself, about sexuality, about Tantra. So I had to go back to my body, to offer my body the rest that it deserves, the nourishment it needs. The fruits and vegetables, I was, I really feel relaxed and at peace when I eat something that is organic and raw. I just breathe, it's, I just relax more. And being in nature is so wonderful, it's so relaxing, my mind is so grateful. 
our body is the subconscious mind and working with our body, working with sexuality, experiencing Tantra, just experiencing life from various perspectives gives us a much more clear view upon ourselves as being. It gives us the possibility to search for our authenticity because it gives a more clear view so I can choose with more awareness. I find myself more. Thank you.